Hello, Keesler. I'm Colonel Blackwell, the commander of the 81st Training Wing. I'm recording this video specifically for all of our airmen who are currently in technical school here at Keesler Air Force Base. Normally, I have an opportunity to welcome you to Keesler, congratulate you on graduating basic military training, and giving you a pep talk as you enter your tech school. However, today's a little bit different. Today's date is 18 March 2020. I don't normally give the dates in these kind of videos, but with the threat of the coronavirus out there across our nation, in our community, and here on Keesler, it makes things a little bit different. Before I get into asking you for help, I wanted to share a quick story with you uh, about me and the heritage that I have within my own family for the United States Air Force. I know you guys have all memorized the Airman's Creed. That Airman's Creed and those core values didn't stop when you graduated BMT. They exist with you today. They are part of what we do as our Air Force. The piece of the Airman's Creed that I want to call out today is a phrase that says, we are faithful to a proud heritage and a, a tradition of honor. For me today, the tradition of honor is my grandfather, Lieutenant Colonel retired Jack C. Runyon. He flew many aircraft. He actually taught some international students in some of the aircraft that we have here at Keesler Air Force Base. This particular story was when he flew the F-102, which is called the Deuce. He was sitting on alert up in Maine, and they were called to action. Before he got into his F-102 Deuce, he looked at my grandmother, who we call Mimi, um, and he said, Pat, if I run out of munitions in my aircraft and the adversary is still coming into our country, I will fly my aircraft into the adversary to protect you and to protect our nation. Luckily, my grandfather was able to safely land, and I got to hear many other stories from him and grow up with him. And I'm not telling you that story, Airman, because I want you to rush out there and, and face this virus and give your life for it. Um, but I'm reminding you, Airman, why you signed up. You volunteered to be in the United States Air Force, and for that, I'm very proud of you. I have restricted some things on Keesler Air Force Base, particularly for our tech school airmen. Yes, I've restricted you to Keesler, and I've also restricted you to the Triangle. I know for some of you that may be difficult, but please understand that I do it for you. Uh, this virus is a real threat, again, like I said, to our country, to our nation, and to the readiness of this base. Keesler has such an important mission that I cannot shut down the training pipeline. Our Air Force still needs you, Airmen. You are our future. The things that I have done to control the spread of this virus, I do really to protect you. I want to keep you safe, I want to keep you healthy, and I want to keep you going through our pipeline because like I said, our Air Force needs you. So I appreciate what you do. I appreciate the sacrifices that you've already made this early in your Air Force career. You got this, Airmen, and I will look forward to seeing you in every classroom that I can. Thank you for your patience, thank you for your patriotism, and we will see you soon.